2022-2023 football Premier League season has now come to an end and that means that there are some players that have had an amazing season with a lot of goals, a lot of assists a lot of clean sheets and that's why I'm going to be going over the best players from every single Premier League club in today's video. It would be rude not to start with it but with, in my opinion, the best player in the Premier League this season, Erling Haaland, scoring 35 goals in 35 appearances, breaking the record for the most goals in one Premier League season for his first season in the Premier League as well. It's the sort of thing that you just don't see very often at all. For that reason, I have put him as the best Man City player for this season. Now next, I've gone for Arsenal and I've gone for Martin Odegaard. I think he's absolutely spectacular in that central attacking midfielder spot with 15 goals, 8 assists. Um, he has been absolutely outstanding this season. Now, furthermore, I went for Spurs um, and I've gone for Harry Kane. I don't think there's really any other player that you can really say. He's had an absolutely shocking team around him and, and he still managed to bag 30 goals. Uh, it shows that he's not the problem at all and he does need to be leaving Spurs this transfer window, um, there's talks of him going to Real Madrid, there was talks of him going to Man United, but him at Spurs would be amazing, there with the English link up with him and Jude Bellingham, uh, it would be unreal. To sort of see what he can do with a good team around him, you know, he scored 30 goals in the Premier League with a bad team around him, what could he do with a really good team around him in a worse league, he could probably bag 40 to 50 goals in one season. Now for Liverpool, I went for the goalkeeper. Now I, now I haven't really gone for many goalkeepers in this because it's rare people speak about goalkeepers, but he has got 14 clean sheets this season and he's made 108 saves. Now I spoke to one of my friends that's also a Liverpool fan and they did also mention that they think that their uh, player of the year, well player of the season for Liverpool was Alisson. So yeah, I put, that, I put them as my also best player for Liverpool. Newcastle, I put Kieran Trippier with 38 appearances. He scored one goal and got seven assists at that right back spot. Marcus Rashford had an amazing period for Man United around after the World Cup where he started to really peak with his performance. In 35 appearances, he's, he scored 17 goals and got five assists. Jao Polinia is who I put for Fulham. In 35 appearances, he has scored three goals and he has made 147 tackles for Fulham. Now, another goalkeeper for Brentford, I got David Rea, 154 saves, which is actually the most saves in the Premier League this whole season, and has kept 20 clean sheets. Now, out of 40 games, that is basically half of the games that he's played, he's kept a clean sheet in. Now, Michael Lise, the Crystal Palace player, for me, has been the best for them this season. 11 assists, he's been unreal. Partnership with Eze and... Zaha is unreal. That that Crystal Palace squad last season was very good at times. I reckon next season with some more transfers they could probably make high to mid table kind of spot. I reckon they'll do very well next season. Now Leeds United having a very on and off season, they can go and lose five games and then they can just go and win one game like four, three. Um but yeah, they've had a very on and off season. Obviously they're now relegated, they went down to the championship. But uh, for Leeds United, I have put Rodrigo. He scored 13 goals this season. He's, he's played very well, I, I must say. He's played very well this season for Leeds United. Um, so, yeah, I said Rodrigo. Leicester City, another team that have also been relegated. I have put James Madison. Now the England international played spectacular for, for Leicester. And I'm sure he'll play very well for England in the future. Nottingham Forest, I put Morgan Gibbs-White. Great in that centre mid slash cam kind of spot. Great this season for them. Chelsea, I didn't know who to put. I don't think it's been anyone that's kind of stood out. The whole team has just not really had the best season at all, have they really? I mean, they've not even... They've made mid-table just, really. Uh, if there's anyone that stands out... Um, Makaweda, he's been good at times, he, he's had his time, um, but really he's been Thiago Silva. At the age that he is, he's still coping to play against some of the best players in their best form currently. Um, yeah, I would definitely put Thiago Silva, Makaweda, um, yeah, Jao Felix, not had the best season really, as if being truly honest. Maybe with some training in the free season, with some more transfers, they can improve and hopefully make the Champions League next season. Southampton, another team that were rock bottom of the table, have gone. But I think it's fairly easy. James Ward Prowse, who else would you really put? For me, he's the best free kick taker in the world right now. Uh, he's unreal from the spot. Um, and he's bagged nine goals. Many of them have been from free kicks. Um, he's just 
probably the best to do it. Um, for me, it's that goal against Wolves. I think that was last season, or the season before. The one against Wolves. How that went in, I don't know. But he's an unreal free kick taker. That's for sure. Um, next, I went for West Ham, um, and same again, fairly easy. Declan Rice, he's won the Europa League this season, he's an amazing DM. I'm sure he'll go and smash it next season for West Ham, or if he decides to move wherever he goes. He's also great for England, he's a really great midfielder. Now, for Wolves, I've put Ruben Nevers for this season, which is actually very recently, I think it was today, he has just announced his move to the Saudi League. I thought he would have stayed in England, probably in the Premier League. He was very good in the Premier League. He's not really that old and he could probably still do a lot more in the Premier League. But yeah, he has decided to go to the Saudi League. So yeah, and then next for Bournemouth, I put Solanke. Uh, he's had quite a good season. He's not been anything spectacular, but he's been good for Bournemouth. He's, you know, he's been a solid striker for them. So I put them for Bournemouth. Um, Aston Villa, he's been a few good players. You know, we had uh, Watkins. He's been very good this season, but I think it's... For me, it's definitely Jacob Ramsey. I think Jacob Ramsey has had a spectacular season. Now, obviously, uh, he used to play for my team, Doncaster Rovers. He was, um, you know, one of our midfielders, and then he decided to downgrade and go to the Prem. Um, yeah, Everton. I put Decore uh, playing in that kind of a midfield role. Uh, he's still got himself five goals and two assists. One of them goal, one of them goals was a volley um, outside the box, a volley to keep Everton up in the Premier League on the last day of the season because obviously Everton survived on the last day of the season. I've put Decore and last but not least I've put Brighton. There was a lot of players, there was you know there was like McAllister. I was really stuck for this one but I've gone for one of my favourite players this season and, and that is Matoma. I think Matoma's played very well in that squad. He's slotted in very well with seven goals and five assists. I've put him as the best player in my opinion this season for Brighton. Now, that is every single player for every single team this, well, last season, um, which is, which in my opinion has been the best for their club. Uh, comment down below what you think, you know, your best players for your team or any of the Premier League teams have been. Uh, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel uh, and I'll see you all in the next one.